what's going on guys double 619 coming at you once again We're about to head on the sea forth uh i think they've been catching a lot of uh sand bass so let's see what, what the day has in store for us here what the fuck are these guys doing and uh fucking crazy california traffic <laughs> back to what's going on uh they've been catching a lot of sand bass yesterday i don't know what else they caught i haven't been paying attention to the fish counts but i haven't been out in like three weeks i haven't seen you guys in three weeks i've made any kind of content it's just been work so i uh, got a little bit of spending cash so i'll go out and see my friends catch fish and uh catch you guys out there all right we are out here in ib fishing some sand bass i'm gonna try a uh, a rig first from where it has it there mid-level or mid-water column and uh if not we'll go to bait and uh i got the broomstick for bait so that'll be not oh, fun I see the piece, Jesse. yes you do so do i Fishing? Trouble 619. I'll look it up right now if I have service. The first one? Yep. I'll give you a subscribe, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah.
Oh, I'm off. Oh, I'm off. Good luck, Sean. There goes the premiere. That is a uh, H&M, I think. That's what I think. I think I was on that one not too long ago. There's that one, and then dolphins back that way. That's out of Fisherman's. You live around here? Oh yeah, you live in Mesa. Mesa. Nice. I do fishing and off-roading. Oh uh, yeah. So Wednesday probably gonna be fucking just day off. Yeah. Thursday I'm gonna drive up those mountains. Nice. Is it like Laguna? No, that's uh like Otai. The Black Mountain or whatever. That's Otai. Okay. Uh Laguna and Black Mountains are up that up way. way up there. Yeah, actually I'm from San Marcos, so I'm thinking everything. That, I believe, is the mountain of Miguel. That's the one that's all one right there. And then the big ones behind it are the mountain of You put out off roading stuff too on your Sometimes. I started to get into it. Uh, my first thought was like, how am I going to how am I gonna do this? Because yeah. if it's just me driving and you don't hear me talk or anything, like, <laughs> I think it's kind of boring. Like, I can throw music behind it, but it's like an hour long fucking yeah. thing. It's just Maybe music and drives or something. So then I figured like, I got, since I have two uh, cameras, I got one inside filming me, yeah. and then one outside filming the road, uh -huh. and like you can see me, like I'll sync it up, you can see me kind of like, as I'm going up stuff and fucking hitting shit, like you can see me jerking around, yeah, and like yeah. passengers jerking around a lot. Fishing is probably better for you and stuff. So bit, I, I gotta figure out like, how we can do the off-road and stuff, like, yeah. I'm still playing around with it. Cause I'll do a picture in picture, yeah. and I'll have the big view of me driving off road and then like a small picture of me. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Alright, time for I'm just gonna sit on date.
don't let the fish on you, kid. Tellers on. Tellers on. Put my flyers back now, bro. <laughs> uh, if only you got as good as Chris did. I get some work. Can't just bring it out during rock pitch. I think we got them beat.
gonna miss, bro. There it is. Oh, get him, Tyler. Oh, he lost him. Darn it. I'm gonna hype you up, bro. I'm gonna hype you up. What happened? Farmed him. Farmed that one. Alright. Well, I thought he was talking to you. <laughs> Alright, enough of the fucking tuna gear. Oh, you should have seen it. First time my son casted his uh his pin 25. Uh no cast controls, nothing. He's not used to it. So he thinks he's hot shit casting my shit, which is all dialed in. Fucking he tries to cast it, no thumb. Oh. Fucking blows up on him. Like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That was stupid. <laughs> True. Big Pelican. Get him, Sean, get him, Sean. Oh, buddy. And fucking hailed it. another one
for you, Luke. Charlie's bit. Charlie's bit. Don't lose him, Charlie. Don't lose him. Well, that was a good day of fishing. It wasn't that great, like numbers wise. I didn't get like, you know, 20 plus or anything like that. I got my limit, the boat got limits. So everybody went home with uh, their limit of sand bass, which I really haven't done that much fishing for outside of uh, Twilight's and bait. Uh, but the key was once somebody hooked up was to throw in a, uh, like a tube lure, like a hookup bait or a, a red rum bait and as soon as you drop the one down, you instantly got hit. There's just like a swarm of fish coming up with one that was hooked, and there was like 20, 30 fish coming up with it. And as soon as anything else dropped, they they were right on top of it. So that worked. As you've seen with uh, me and Ty, we got doubles real quick. We'd bring up real slow. Another one would drop. They'd drop their uh, tube in and then get instantly lit up. That seemed to work. Uh, what I didn't do, what other people doing, and I probably would have caught more fish this way, is throwing a... I think it's called a double a double rig or a donkey rig with uh, two tube baits and they'd like kind of swirl down like going in circles uh, as they're going down and they'd both get hit and as soon as you bring one up the other one would get hit too. A lot of people seem to have a uh, really good success with that. I don't have that many tube baits because that's not my style of fishing but uh, I might have to invest in a couple more just for that type of situation. I have like five or so. Most of them are smaller for a uh, Sand, barred sand bass, not barred, but spotty sand bass inside the bay when they're tight lipped and locked in on structure. But uh, maybe we'll get back to those someday. But right now we're still doing the ocean thing. I, I don't have money to buy a kayak. But uh, we'll see what the future holds. Uh, I need to do some more uh, beach fishing uh, just to save money. But uh, otherwise, the, the bass are spawning right now. Uh, the barred sand bass are spawning. Go out and get them. They're good eating. As long as they're, you know, not in the bay. I don't know how people feel about that. To me personally, if there's the fish inside San Diego Bay, there's a lot of pollution in there. Uh, you can say pretty much the same thing about IB with uh, all the pollution from Mexico coming up in that area. But it, they seem to be more, uh, more open water, so it's more water current flowing through instead of in the back of the bay where it's just bad pollution. But you know, teach their own. I, I give all my fish away to my friends and family. They eat them, they have zero complaints. So, catch you guys next time. Probably be another week till I get out. Actually, no, you know, I'll be out there in a couple days. I got a free pass. So, hopefully, I'll get another video out soon. And I'll catch you guys later.